Hey guys, today we will talk about a card that has recently gone up in price. It is an older card, and surprisingly, this card has spiked even though it could well be in Modern Masters 2017 because it is in that period, that time period. Great EDH card. One of the other philosophies I take and when I look at a card and decide to buy it in you know, a playset, two playsets, a few playsets, I look to see if it is an artifact with a unique ability. So just like I say, $5 Planeswalkers, generally pretty safe to get in at $5 for a Planeswalker. At worst, it's a Johnny Steadfast, which is like $10, $12 now. And if that can go from 5 to 12 then pretty much any Planeswalker not named Tibble and not in a dual deck has the ability to do something like that. So this card is an artifact. It can be played in multiple decks. It can be played in multiple EDH decks. It's kind of like an add-on. Uh, it reminds me of, you know, Jitte or Sensei Divining Top or Soul Ring. Any of these good artifacts that can just be added to any random EDH deck because you don't really have to worry about the color. Now, having giving them something Life Link and Death Touch. The death touch part is especially important because then you can ping your opponent's creatures and just kind of machine gun them down. I mean, that's probably the strategy that I would use in ED8. Now, the card is a $23 card. It's a little insane for my... I don't see it as a $20 plus card, but that's what the market has on it currently. And that, that is the truth. So whenever you have a card like this, I mean, definitely... If you have a card like this in your binder, t take it out from your crappy binder, put it in the more expensive binder. And it is one of the things that honestly, the biggest dream, the biggest speculation dream would be accumulating a ton of these before at, you know, before it spikes, even at the $5 mark and just having pages of them when they're $20. This has happened to me a few times uh, Stoneforge Mystic has done something like that where it just spiked up to $25 and I sold them to my local game store uh, and to one a store in Scarsdale which is, buys a ton of cards and I got rid of them and it felt really good. This is the same. I like cards from... We will see what happens with Modern Masters 2017 but assuming a... Uh, battle for Zendikar, or not Battle for, original Zendikar set, whatever is not reprinted in those sets will be safe for some time, will be safe for, let's say, another two years. I like it. I like a lot. And I will probably make it, I will make another video after the Modern Masters 2017 uh, is the spoiled, completely spoiled, in what cards I like to pick up from that block. It's old enough right now that the cards are spiking just naturally almost. Anyway, leave me a comment below uh, if you have this card, if you were able to get the card cheaply. Um, th this card is just found in a ton of EDH decks. I feel like what happened was more people were excited about EDH and therefore they decided to go out and buy this card and because the card is so limited in supply, it's from an older set. I put that in quotations because even Innistrad is considered old by some. So definitely a good, something good to pick up from your local game store or something good to pick up in trade or something good to take out of your $5 binder or $10 binder and put it in your $20 binder. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye guys.